GCAM 7.3 is so awesome. It takes the best picture in a mobile phone right now. Now I've shown you in this channel the settings, advanced setting configuration, how to do and how to use it. What if I show you a GCAM 7.3 that has even more advanced user interface where you can put everything you need by the preview and with one click do wonders? Are you ready for that? Let's check it out. Welcome back to Smart Depot. The message is still the same. Wash your hands. This coronavirus pandemic that we're suffering right now is not a drill. And as I moved, uh, came back from day job yesterday, I discovered that people are still not taking it seriously. This is Port Harcourt, Nigeria, where I live. And people still moving about like this. Please stay indoors. Stay safe as much as if you can. If you have to go out, please try and protect yourself. The message have not changed. Uh, World Health Organization have a... a, a uh, website where you can get information on this please stay safe stay indoors and we'll overcome this together so let's go back right into the video it is really hard to say which gcam is the best but when it comes to the user interface in this series i'll be showing you some gcam that have added extra you know the porters the developers have added extra effort to add more to the user interface you can see it across the video recording um mind you this uh TR camera is the only one that works with video Gcam 7.3 in my device that I'm using for this G, uh, Realme X2. So, um, uh, but it's not just about the quality of the pictures. What we're focusing here is the user interface. Now, if you go to nice set, you can see more by the side, a whole lot you can do with one single click right on the preview of the camera. You can do a whole lot of things. The in, Inside the setting, it has loads and loads of setting. And as you can see, as I've shown you in this channel, there are a whole lot of Gcam that have the same loads of setting, Gcam 7.3. So if you're here, you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please click on that subscribe button right now. And then because we'll be bringing you content, especially in this pandemic and if you're watching this in the future our world is under attack by a coronavirus called uh, COVID-19 uh, but I believe we will overcome it and we will get better and it will be a history soon so but stay safe wherever you are so when you go into the advanced setting this is as good as any other GCAM 7.3 but what interests me in this TR camera GCAM 7.3 and I believe you should check it out is because if you're an advanced user you have the understanding that you cannot use one single configuration file for every every setting you cannot it will be difficult because it might be too bright it might be too dark or something but if you're an advanced user you can just set yourself this one even have you know white camera the white camera works here for my device uh but it's not working if i'm using the screen recorder i really don't know why without the screen recorder it works if i try with the screen recorder it breaks down so so while i was working on this video with version 2 the version 3 also came out so i also brought it in here you see the uh, orange uh, kind of color in in the settings and in the shortcuts and it's a little bit refined but i don't think there's similarly there's basically no difference between the two so i'll put the two of them the link in the description but one of the interesting things that happened is that as i reached out to the developer now the version 3 which is titled stay at home version is rebased back to gcam 7.2 and while the older version 2 was with 7.3 base i still don't know the thinking but what i got from here is that he prefers 7.2 to 7.3 so uh, there is a question about that so let us know in the comment section if you want us to do another video comparing gcam 7.2 versus gcam 7.3 so uh, the image quality, the setting is always the same. Right now, another refinement is that if you're using like exposure uh, composition, you will see it on the screen to show you the level of exposure composition it is. Like you can go in and set it, uh, the EV uh, exposure value. And then once you set it, and it's very important because all these things now, you can use it at different situations with one click uh, on the gear, the right side is now the orange is selected. You can see that the EV is 1.6. And when you take a picture, 
fixture this is 1.6 ev and then this is zero ev so you can even bump it up to two if you want so but with that one single click it's you know brings you an opportunity to get something better so this is for advanced users and people who want to take much more so you even go to nice site with one click it turns on astrophotography one click it turns it off right in the user interface you don't have to go anywhere to do that so this is the first part of the advanced gcam 7.3 or the more advanced gcam interfaces we're going to be bringing you more uh, in this season just stay safe wherever you are subscribe to the channel if you have not done that and i will see you in the next video coming out very soon peace out subscribe i'll see you